Recovery efforts underway in the search to find three men who never surfaced. We've made it to the Blair Witch Woods. To me, there's something eerie about forests always. I mean, you don't know what's out there. There's footsteps. Is this forest haunted? Oh god. What is that? It's not living. Oh, 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 got that. Oh my god. Capo, Capo. No way. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh shit, the flashlight just turned on. If you want us to open this Dybbuk box, please turn that flashlight on. Oh, Holy oh crap. What's in there, dude? How? Oh my god. We should probably stop now. Do you want to hurt us? What the f <laughs> What? <laughs> oh my fing god. All right, boys, we've made it to the Blair Witch Woods, or at least part of it. Are you guys ready? I don't know what to expect. After the whole director's thing and them saying that they had a few paranormal experiences, it kind of makes you wonder what could actually be in this forest. The Blair Witch is a legend about the evil spirit of a woman named Ellie Kedward, who was tried, accused, and executed for the crime of witchcraft. I'll get a little more in-depth about the legend later. But the Blair Witch is supposedly said to haunt a forest in Burkittsville, Maryland. That's where we're going tonight to investigate. This legend legend was made popular by one of the most influential horror movies of all time, The Blair Witch Project. Now, according to the director of The Blair Witch, the legend itself is fictional. But, since the movie has been made, there's been a lot of claims that say that The Blair Witch actually haunts that forest. Now, forgive me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that there are no actual investigations of The Blair Witch Forest. At least not on YouTube. So, me and Josh wanted to be one of, if not the first people, to find the truth behind the legend of one of our favorite horror movies. In this video, we're teaming up with Colin from Paranormal Files. Colin really hooked us up in this video because back in the day, he got an interview with the director of The Blair Witch Project, Eduardo Sanchez. And according to Ed, back when they were filming the movie in The Blair Witch Forest, he and his crew had some really odd, potentially paranormal experiences. What you're about to see is that interview. What was it like to actually, I've always wondered, produce the movie, like what was the actual production process like of filming? Was it ever creepy actually being out there? Yes, absolutely. I mean, you know, we basically shot it over like eight or nine continuous days in the woods and we were shooting like 24 hours a day. Like the actors were in the woods mostly by themselves and then we would kind of intercept them in certain times during the day and give them, you know, food, give them rations and then give them instructions until we can beat them again. And that's how we kind of directed them. They were directed from these directing notes. So we were basically, it was like a group of about seven or eight people maybe and we just handled everything. It was like a 24 hour a day play. First of all, somebody was always sleeping out there at night with the actors, like not in the same area, but we always had like a base camp. So it was just a lot of camping, a lot of woods, a lot of just walking alone in the woods at night. You know, it was creepy out there, man. And especially at the house, like the house at the end of the movie. I did not like being in that house alone. Like I remember one time it was, I'm not sure if we were shooting yet or we were just we we're start about to start to shoot and mm -hmm. all of a sudden I look around there's nobody around I'm like oh and it's night the night's coming you know it was like right at dusk you know like the sun had already come gone gone down and this terror like oh my god I'm alone in this house I mean as quickly as possible just moved out and you know and everybody was gone I just felt like such a dumbass like you know just being scared like that but that house you know I mean it had a lot of history obviously people had lived there and you know who the hell knows what kind of stuff was lurking around there you know what was the house what what's the history of the the actual building and kind of like where was it the house was uh, um, i think it's called the griggs house you know it was built i guess in the 40s I'm, i get confused with the actual house and the legend that we came up with you know it's been you know in the, in the mythology of the Blair Witch. But it was just a house that was on park land. It was next to this abandoned Nike missile base. We happened to find it, man. 
And as soon as I laid my eyes on it, I knew that it was the house, you know. It was already falling apart when we got there. It wasn't like super dangerous, but we had to shore up some stuff to make sure that everybody was safe and stuff. But yeah, it was it was pretty gnarly, even when we found it. And then I think the park destroyed it probably about 10 years ago, I think. It was just getting dangerous. We were doing some marketing stuff and we had this uh, medium come in, this talented, you know, this uh, gifted woman come in, you know, just to kind of look at the house. So she went up all the rooms and she went upstairs and then went back down. She said, there's somebody up in that attic and they're really angry. They're not, they're not like malevolent, but they're really angry that you didn't ask permission to come in here and be in their house. We hadn't told her anything about anything. I mean, I, we had never even talked there. So, you know, I mean, I don't know what the hell, you know, was going on, but it, to me, it's like, okay, there's definitely something that my body and the other people's bodies were picking up. And, and maybe the lights blowing out was maybe just us not paying attention or maybe the energy had something to do with the electricity or whatever, but it was not just me, man, it was everybody. And there was some guy, people that didn't want to do it, but I, I, I gotta get out of here, I gotta get out of here. Last time we were in the woods was for the Bigfoot video, bro. And we had a gun popped out by a guy we never met. I mean, to me, there's something eerie about forests always. I mean, you don't know what's out there. Animals, humans. If we die, someone definitely has found footage, right? Yeah, in fact, right. they gotta find right. at least yes. one of our cameras. Do you actually know where to go, Colin? Not at all. All right. Nice. Nothing wrong with going in the woods at night. No, not at all. Nothing bad could possibly come of that. Never. I'm not worried. I'm not scared. Why would I be scared of some woods? This is a walk in the park. Literally. Did anybody when you're filming ever have any paranormal experiences on set in the forest maybe in the house any cast or crew or yourself we like genuinely like freaked ourselves out just by being in the woods the nature of what we were doing and like the you know kind of the dark nature of the of the story you know the this kind of movie that we were making. It's almost like it, we, we, we were kind of blessed by, you know, not really having any kind of, at least that I know of, I don't think anybody had any kind of weird, strange sightings or, or kind of feelings like that. I mean, I, I know that there was like little run-ins with park rangers and some animals, you know, like little animals, because we would we would always had a, a base camp near the actor's camp. So, you know, animals would come around and stuff, but nothing crazy happened, anything kind of, uh, uh, unexplained. It was uh, for a supernatural movie in the woods. It was very like non supernatural. You know? no, 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 no stories, unfortunately. That is the biggest toad. Dude, he's just vibing. He's not scared of no one. Nah, he didn't even care that we were walking. You think he's like, oh! Ah! Literally, we've been walking for, what, 10 minutes now? This is all we're seeing. A dirt road, trees. We're looking for an abandoned church, and I'll give you more information about that when we get there. Damn, we've come to a crossroads for the first time, so we either keep going straight into the deep, dark woods, or we go this way, to the unknown. We could be going to absolutely nothing right now. What was the inspiration for the stick figures? Also another question I've always there was some kind of thing where like, if we're gonna have hanging sticks, you know, and, and we made some diagrams of like these stick figures and they were much bigger than the ones in the in the movie, but these pretty impressive log kind of figures. And But it was just kind of inspired by mostly like Native American lore, you know, and like the whole like the dream catcher. There's no like definitive like idea as to what they are, but it's almost like a warning to people. So for me, my personal thing was that when they got to the Stickman Forest, if you look in the movie, that's when like reality warped. Like that's when they were they were never gonna get out of that. Well, that's the tree we crossed. That tree is down. That's the same one. Oh, God. No. Don't be kidding me. It's the 
coming up to some train tracks now, but apparently we're super close. It's like someone dug a grave, bro. Yo, actually it kind of does. That's creepy. Yo. Again, guys, I just don't understand why this is out here in the middle of nowhere. Apparently there used to be a settlement of some kind in this area. Where did the story of Blair Witch originate in your mind? Like, is there a real story that you took elements from to create that story? I think we took elements from a lot of different things that you know then because dan myrick and i um you know came up with the original idea and then a bunch of other people came in to help flesh out the mythology of like you know the blair witch and you know kind of the, the, the facts like the history of the myth so dan and i kind of took a lot of different things from a lot of different things that, that kind of like creeped us out as kids but really i think the biggest thing would be probably just the kind of the salem witch trials you know the idea of like you know a, a woman who was unjustly basically murdered because of witchcraft, you know, this ridiculous thing, but something Hmm. Ed? The Blair Witch is supposedly the evil spirit of a woman named Ellie Kedward, who was accused of the crime of witchcraft in the winter of 1785. After she was accused, she was banished from a town called Blair, which was later renamed to Burkittsville, Maryland. Her punishment for this crime was execution. She was hung from a tree with stones tied to each of her limbs, stretching her body with the force of gravity. One year later, all of her accusers and half of the town's children had vanished. Fearing the curse of a witch, all of the townspeople had fled the town of Blair and vowed never to utter the name Ellie Kedward ever again. So while the Blair Witch Project is a fictional movie, there have been many claims of paranormal activity inside the forest. So tonight, we're going into the Blair Witch Forest to find the truth. Is the Blair Witch Forest really haunted? Let's find out. Damn. We can do an investigation here, they'll drop our stuff. Yeah, we can try to see if anything pops off. What do you think of this room? Oh no. Let's check it out. Oh, there's a big spider. Oh no. I just realized that graffiti right there is doing the little, uh, you know, where that you make people look <laughs> like you're looking at this right now. Gotcha. Is that a butt over there? A butt? I Yo, see I see it. Yeah, that could be a butt. All right, guys. So we took a little bit of a break because we walked and hiked through the woods in the dark for maybe a good 30 minutes, 40 minutes, maybe. Let me show you what we got for equipment to start the investigation. Of course, we got good old music box right here. Never lets us down. We also have a cat ball there. Another cat all over here next to the night vision camera just so you guys can get another angle we're basically just setting up a bunch of trigger objects in here because we don't know what this room specifically could have been maybe there's some residual activity we're not entirely sure we're gonna find out we're also gonna set up a REM pod right here in like the center of the room all right boys be on the dark let's get it I am calling out right now to any spirit that's in this forest if you're somebody that's been here for a long time a member of an indigenous tribe maybe you saw the filming of the movie the Blair Witch Project I don't know or you're a spirit that's completely unrelated we're calling out to you because we want to know who you are and we want to know your story but just to introduce myself I'm Colin. My name is Josh. We're here just to kind of learn about your story, who you are. Do you know that you're dead? Are you trapped here? Anything like that. And we have a bunch of devices and things left around us. You'll be able to speak and talk to us through them. And I'm Seth. If there's any spirits out here, would love to communicate with you. Learn your story. Know what you have to say. Don't be afraid of us. Don't be afraid of our equipment. There's nothing here that's going to harm you. We're here only because we're curious. So please, if you're here, come forward. Is there somebody here? Anywhere in the forest? Can you walk towards my voice? If there's anybody here in this church or in this forest, can you please give us a sign? De cast. Decompose and it says cast. Hmm. Cast. Can cast of the movie? Yo, could be. Huh. We're which we're here doing the movie. Are you talking about the movie? Did you see some of the cast members? Is this forest haunted? Baby. Baby. Did a baby die here? Oh, 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 oh. got that. Oh my God. Like right there. Dude. I heard it, I heard it. That thing has been completely yep. silent this I whole know. time. Oh my so God. 
card. Card in Albert. Was the baby's name Albert? It says Albert and it says card. And we knew a baby died because that just went off. I'm freaked out that the REM pod even went off because, I, like I said, guys, I just don't think anything was going to go off out here. So that's that's already a huge jump in the right direction. That was bizarre because it was like somebody just walked in. It was so quick. Super fast. <laughs> Done. Hey. Name? I see Sally in name. Sally. Sally? And you were at Sally. Wait. Look, that's the video that I just posted this week. Yeah. Sally. No way. Yeah, Sally yeah. House. The name, says it. Sally. Okay, that's freaking Yo, creepy. That's freaking freaky, man. If someone's really here, can you give us another sign? Can you set off another device like you just did? Again, we... Oh. Scene? Scene. 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 Like and a scene in a movie? Whoa, I heard shuffling in there. Me too. Me too. And it just said scene, and you just asked. It's going again. Hunting. Hunting. No! Oh. My, and we're in the woods? Bro. We just heard some noises over there? Dude, this is the Whoa, that bug is huge! I love how, like, stuff is literally happening to us, but we can joke around. This is how you know we've been doing this for way too long. Yeah, right? we're, scared at all. we're a little too desensitized yeah. to this jaded, stuff. Jaded, man, jaded. Yeah. <laughs> can you come? Unless it can't come in here. Because it's a church. Because it's a church. Okay, so, dude, it's friendly brought the church. Oh! oh! Dude, f***ing go, man! The f***ing red again. Right there. Oh! My God. Factors. Factors. The church plays a factor in why he can't come in yeah. here. Cause dude, that spike right. we brought it up. We bring up church. That went off. A baby died here, and Albert was the name apparently. If we're going by the Alice box, mm -hmm. the Alice box is usually never wrong for us so far. I gotta tell you, that is kind of scary, man. That that is going off right there, and it's not in here. I mean, that is straight up something that cannot walk into the church. It's coming up, almost taunting us. You know, it's the only device that's going off yeah, too. Consistently, and it said it's seen and hunting us. Bro. Hunting, bro. That's freaking that creepy. Is, is it true that these woods are? Haunted. Whoa. Oh, got it. Right there. Yep, got it. Right I didn't even see it. Damn. That thing never goes off, bro. Faith. Faith! Faith? Yo, that's Faith. crazy. Faith, Faith in a church. Salvation. Salvation! That's crazy too because Reach that's salvation. Reach that's salvation. That's what it says. Yes. This Reach salvation. In and, and got got saved. Dude, that's, that's, that's crazy. Good spirit here. Yes. This is somebody who passed on in the afterlife yes. successfully and, and reached heaven or salvation. That's wild. That I, perfect sense. And that's the kind of intelligent stuff that we love to hear on Ghost Investigations, oh, yeah. you know? So now, I don't know if we're still getting stuff here or not. We can try moving our stuff to that room. Yeah, let's move to the next room. The only thing I will say, not to debunk, but I'm gonna debunk. I think it could be the tripod. I mean, nothing's moving over there. It shouldn't be going off. If that's you, could... I was just about to ask if it could step away. It's hard, I don't know, yeah. I... Oh, there it goes, there it goes! Can you come back here? Oh <laughs> my god. <laughs> well, hang on, I'm gonna move it just in case. Yeah, oh, yeah. Cap ball, cap ball. No way! Oh, there we go, there we go! Oh my god! Okay, something's I'm here telling then. you, bro, I, something I believe is you. fucking coming now in. Now I believe it. The music box, the cat ball behind me, the REM pod, everything is alerting and triggering right on the edge of the church. Something is right outside. It's waiting for us to step outside. It will not come in. Cat ball! Oh my god! Dude, what? They're literally outside. They're just right watching the us. So they, they can't be good spirits then. That's a I'm bad assuming, sign, yeah. man. Again, I didn't expect anything to go off here. So I'm kind of freaked out. Yeah, like, we've had a lot. A, a lot. lot for just in the middle of yeah. the woods, man. Look, it is definitely getting Whoa. Out. Exactly, again. That's the third time. Yup, and this is when we just started talking and pointing about it. So guys, this would have been the front entrance right here. And I guess that the ceremonies and all that would have taken place right here. I mean, we're probably standing where the old church pews used to be. And we're getting our devices going off. So we're just going to go ahead and start the second part of the investigation of this church. So we're using the same devices that we were just using in the other room. Oh shit, the flashlight no, just turned on. No. I was just about to talk about that. Man. Oh my god. Can you shut that off? Step away from the wall. <laughs> wow. Immediately, That's man. Nice. Guys, That's I nice. I was just about to say that we're adding the flashlight to the. Yo! Right, oh my god, again. dude! Are you not allowed in this building? 
light the flashlight if you can't come in. Whoa, dude. That confirms that. Yeah, that confirms Can you turn the flashlight off for us so we can ask you another question? Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> this is good response. Are you Fucking over 30 man. years old? Yes. Oh. It said 30 on the Alice box. Yes, it did. 30. 30. Are you a man? Yeah. Wow. All right, turn that off again. Are you the same person that we've been talking to this whole time? <sighs> wow. That makes sense, though. It is, man. That makes so much sense, though. They're just peeking through yeah. the windows, bro. Lurking. Can you turn that off for us? <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. Are there multiple spirits that haunt this forest? Can you turn that off for us, please? Can you set off another one of our devices so that we actually know this is you that we're talking to? It doesn't matter which one, just any device, except that flashlight. Turn something else, whoa, did you just hear that? Whoa. I just heard a whole tree branch snap. us to open this Dybbuk box, please turn that flashlight on. Oh, Holy oh crap. My god. Oh my god. It knows there's something in that thing. Do you have any experience with this? I've never even seen a Dybbuk box, so yeah. I'm, I'm totally... I mean, I've seen a few, but I've never really opened one myself. This box is different because it's somewhat of a Dybbuk box, but it's not really a full-on Dybbuk box. Okay. This was just advertised as a haunted box. So this is probably a haunted object then, it's not... Something in there. Yeah. Right. But you don't know what it is? I have no idea. Well, it wants us to open it. It keeps lighting up the flashlight as we're talking about it, like turning it on and off. We, yeah. we definitely the should not be doing this. The only thing that makes me feel okay is that we're in the church, but then I feel like, what if we leave the church? Oh, okay, he's just he's just going for it. All right, um, guys, what you're about to see, please do not ever attempt to do something like this on your own. Just Ooh. full disclosure, this could end very badly for anybody. Bro, I don't know how to open this thing. Dude, maybe that's a sign that we shouldn't be opening this. Yeah, we don't have to. We could smash it against like if something. It... Oh, oh god. Oh, what is that? Something came out. Yo, I think this is ash, bro. It smells weird. What is it? These two were in there. Marbles? Is that a candle? That's a candle. Oh, a vial. Shoot. A yeah. vial, though? Like yes. a potion? Look at I this. don't know. That's like witch related. Isn't that odd? It is. That's dude. really freaky. Uh -huh. Why are they? Oh, what? cat ball, cat ball. Whoa. Let me open it up. First oh. time, dude. That's crazy. Both devices off at the same time. Bro, hair. <gasps> what the f? Yo. Cat ball right when I pulled that out. No way. That's hair. Like a wig. Like, is it a wig or is it like actual human like, hair? Yeah. It's still here that someone could have used. Yeah, either wore, way. Like a wig, you know what I mean? I'm creeped out right now, man. I know, I know. I, we, we, none of us talked and we're just like freaking out ourselves. What are we gonna be using now? So we have the Spirit Talker app right now. This is a ITC research app, almost based on the same technology as the Ovulus. It's essentially an algorithm that gives you words to simplify it. Like how the Alex box was. Yeah. Or a what Spirit box. This? But it's I've on had, a cell phone. Yeah, and I've had some really, really crazy experiences with the Spirit Talker, so I'm confident this thing is gonna do something for us, man. I know it. Well, this will be the first time on Beyond the Dark we even use, I think, a cell phone. As a tools. legit yeah. app. Yeah. So that's cool, man. Hey, that's why we collaborate, too. See what other people use and what they try. If you're the thing that likes to sit at the edge of this church, we have a device, a tool. What does that noise mean? Just it's detecting EMF. Oh, that, so that's like a K2? Yeah. That noise right there? Yeah. We want to talk to you, and if you use your voice, we'll be able to hear what you're saying. What are you? Well, right when I turned it on, dude. Right when I fucking hit dude, the start, bro. Dude, that's crazy. And that hasn't gone off since we opened the box. I know. Okay, yeah, you can come back towards us, because we want to talk. What are you? Are you a human? Yeah, I'm hearing stuff. Too. I heard that. I heard that 100%. Stick this out. Phone, bro. Nice. Oh my god. Immediately, man. The first the phone. Thing. First word is phone. And you're on the phone. Yes. That's, that's wild. That's what we're going to talk to you through is this phone. Thank you. Who or what are you? Can you tell us? Is the spirit that we were talking to earlier still here with us? Do you want us to leave the church? Oh, <gasps> 
coming next to me. Oh, fucking scared the fuck out. Oh my god. I'm so on alert. Yo. Evidence. Evidence, dude. Evidence, as soon as the cat ball goes off, it says evidence. Yes, we're, we're using that as evidence to know that you're real. Who haunts this building? Can you tell us that? Who is here talking to us? Bro, you heard that? That sounded like a fuck. That was a whole yes. tap on your tree. Yeah, right there. Crazy the flashlights stopped going off too. I know. Dude, yeah, I didn't even notice that. Oh, right what? Oh, shit. Sorry. It scared me. Right when you guys As we've been looking thing, at it the entire time, mm -hmm. it wants our attention here so far. It does. Bad. Bro, bring it back over there again. Shit, man. Obviously, you can tell we're on edge. Yeah. Terrified. Holy f We just we, said. You said you're on edge, bro. We just said we were scared. It's funny how this thing stops going off when we come over. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. What the f man? Literally mid sentence talking about it. That's insane. Pointing at it, too, man. I straight up just heard somebody talking. What do they say though? I left. don't. Left. And I heard it to the left. Yes. Oh my god. I heard somebody whispering in this direction right here. I swear to God. You know what justifies you saying that is you heard it and then it said left. Mm -hmm. So it's not, you know what I mean? What's the coincidence of that? Right, exactly. Are you coming into the church? How? How? Oh my god. I just got chills through my whole goddamn Hell, body, bro. Man. Who's coming wow. into the church? You coming into the church? Hell. Oh my god. We should probably stop now. Yeah, yeah. I don't Bro, think- What are the odds? In a church. I know. Hell. This evidence yeah, is crazy, and we still have one more place to go to. Yeah. I know. I think what I, I would like to do- wish we had water, man. Yeah, I know. I mean, this is the area that, at the point, where I would always stop my investigations, and I would go to a new spot. I always stop after it gets this crazy. Yeah, maybe we should- Always. Maybe we should move on. Emma. Emma? Do you know an Emma? I mean, I I know an Emma, but she's not living. What? Oh my fucking god! Holy shit! Frightening. And it just said frightening on the thing, and he's actually fucking throwing up. I think we need to stop and get the fuck out. Okay, fuck this. Yeah, we need to stop. Let's let's get the fuck out of here. Whatever spirits are out here, you can't follow us. Yeah, no one's following. You're us. not allowed to. <coughs> we were trying to talk to someone that wasn't you. You're not allowed to communicate with us from this point forward. Stay away from us. Stay away from Colin. Drain. Drain. It just said drain, and now it's draining his energy. It's just said drain. I just heard it say drain. You're not allowed to drain us. You stay away from us. <coughs> Let's just get our sh Let's get out of here, all right? Are you okay right here? Yeah. We're gonna grab your stuff, all right? Yeah. All right, we're, we're gonna get out of here, all right? I'm right here with you, man, you're good. Let's get back to the car. Let's get you some water. Let's just get the fuck away from this church, man. She killed. What? What the fuck did that just say? That video? It said she killed. Dude, I don't even want to take that fucking Dybbuk box with us. I think we should just I'm leave it here. No, man. fuck that thing. Woman. Woman. She Holy killed fuck. woman. Let's just shut it off, man. Let's get let's just cut off communications. We don't we don't need to fucking deal with this. This spirit, whoever it is, clearly has nothing good to say, so we don't have to talk to it. <laughs> I've never fucking seen anything like that in my life. Neither. Like we had scratches on our back on the UK, but I never seen someone throw up like hard ever. That came out of nowhere. As soon as he opened the box. I know. Are you good to move on? We gotta get out of here. <clears throat> yeah, we can get. Yeah, we can give you a minute. I guarantee you, the minute we start walking, you're gonna feel better because we'll be away from this area. This area is really bad. I just got a breeze in the back of my neck. No fucking yes, way. Yes, I did. Like a breathing, like a breathing breeze on the back of my neck just now. Can you guys help me pack this stuff? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just grab. Yeah, I put all our stuff into the other room. Like I'm not allowing anybody or anything to follow us, <clears throat> or specifically me. I don't know if it has to do with that box that I don't even believe in, or if you're here, but 
Please stay here. Whatever you are, you're not welcome with us. We don't want to communicate with you. We don't want your presence. If you came with the Dybbuk box, we're leaving it here. We don't normally do stuff like that, and we're never going to do something like this again. Do not follow us. You're not allowed. Came from this way, right? Yeah. 